Hi guys, it's the One Red Earth. Um, I'm here today to tell you why. All right, basically, I'm get straight into it. I'm not saying the iPhone is a bad phone. I'm just saying that for the price range, it's basically a mid-range phone, high mid-range phone. It's very simplistic. It doesn't. It doesn't measure up to the phones to what phones are doing these days. If all you need a phone for is to make calls and send texts, then fine. But I like my phone to make things very convenient for me, innit? Now, with Siri, they try to do that. But Siri, everyone knows Siri shit. At the same way, in the same way, Samsung came out with S Voice, which is exactly like Siri, and it's just crap as well. Um, I never use it. Now, Google Now is something that I do use because Google Now makes things very, very simple, and it's very fast. With Siri and with um, S4, you have to wait for a while. With Google Now, it does things before I ask it to do things. It's going to show me the weather like that. Say it's 9 o'clock in the morning, it will give me directions to work. It will tell me about travel, um, traffic, uh, what time I need to leave to be on time. If, if I talk to it now, who is the president of Russia? The president of Russia is Vladimir Putin. Gives me a little card. Gives me a Google search at the bottom underneath so I can go into more detail. Very good. If I go back up, is it going to rain today? Yes, rain is expected today in Leicester, UK. See, I don't even have to talk proper English. <laughs> um, I can search for all kinds of things on Google now. Now, the way that Android works, it has these things called widgets. And basically what I can do is I can do things without having, to go in, without having to go into the app. So I've got here all my emails. Um, that app's frozen, so I can't go into that one. But well, it doesn't work on this version of Android. I have to get an update. But basically, that's uh, it looks better on here. Let me see. This is, the, this is the Galaxy S3. Now, as you can see, I've got this live wallpaper that makes the ripples come up everywhere I touch. But... That that's not part of that truth. It's something I downloaded, but with the screen, it makes it look beautiful. Now this is a uh, dictionary.com widget that basically I can search for words, what they mean, get um, synonyms and stuff. Um, this is my weather widget, so I can go between London and Leicester and see what the weather's like. It's my Uber social widget, so I can see the latest tweets. I can go down. I can see how many mentions I've got, how many DMs. I can tweet straight from there. I've got all kinds of widgets. I've got my calendar widget. I've got my email widget. I've got Flickstar, which is just going to let me look at all the films that are out, and I can click one and whatever, and see the film times that are near me. I can turn on the light from here, which is very useful. I can see my emails from here. I don't have to go into anything basically. I have to open an app to look at the weather. Now, when you get notifications in Android, what it does is it puts them up here. And what it does is it gives you a little notification icon. So say WhatsApp has a message, it will give a little WhatsApp icon. If I've got a text, it will give a text icon. If I've got email, I'll get an email icon. And that lets me know what I've got and if I want to check it or not. If I want, I can just swipe them away. I don't have any emails or anything right now, but I can swipe them away one by one or I can get rid of all of them just by clicking. From here, I've got everything I, can, I need to control. One great thing about Android is that I can Bluetooth stuff from phone to phone. I can switch on my Bluetooth, it'll tell me that there's Bluetooth available, Bluetooth um, devices available, and I can select on if I touch it, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I can Bluetooth phones from here to, um, songs from here to here when one battery's running out or something like that. But the battery usually lasts me all day. Um, let me show you the one of the most impressive things, a couple of the most impressive things. Um, this is the music square. If I want something that's calm and passionate, I can click right in here, select that. Yeah. It'll give me some calm and passionate songs. That's not so calm. This is quite calm. <laughs> um, I can go exciting and joyful. There you go. What's more exciting and joyful than soccer? I can go back. If I go back to here, I'm going to go to video player. And it's going to start playing. 
where I left off. It looks amazing, really. It actually looks on this screen. It looks like I'm at the cinema, but smaller. Now what I've got here is a little thumbnail of the movie that I can keep watching while everything else is going on. So let me turn that down. So I can watch that while everything else is going on. So all the thumbnails are um, playing at the same time. So everything's moving on the screen, but I can go out of here completely. Go into another app. Uh, let's say I get an email. I've got an email here from one of my friends. I can just go in here. And oops, I can read the email. Move this around. Start writing a reply. Click there. Move that up. Start typing away. Move that back down if I want. Send that. I can do whatever I like. Um, click it. Go straight back into the into the film. But this is the power of Android right now. I mean, this is a um, Galaxy S3. And it's actually the best phone out right now. I can't even. I said for the when the Galaxy Note 2 comes out, it'll be better. But the iPhone 5 won't have anything on it because if you want an iPhone, there you go. That's your iPhone. The difference between the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 5 is the iPhone 5 runs a little bit faster. It's got a better version of Siri, and the battery maybe lasts a little bit longer. I don't know if the screen's any better, but the screen's half an inch bigger. But four inches in this day and age isn't gonna cut it for no one. Well, for no one like me that likes watching stuff on on my phone and looking at photos and stuff because you have to get really close to it. I see everyone with an iPhone holds it like here. When I hold my phone, I'm holding it here because everything's so big that it doesn't need to be right by my face. I can do everything I need, but if you really want an iPhone, that's your iPhone right there. And then you've got a little something extra where you can add your widgets to your home screen to make everything a little bit more simple in life. <laughs> So I don't have to go into anything to really do it. Now, I like my phone to do a lot of things for me, innit? So it makes things very simple. So I can turn off the auto screen brightness and change the screen brightness from here. Um, when it gets Google now, it will be running the thing that I showed you earlier. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about iPhone. Every If you ever hear anyone say, ah, oh, if you ever ask anyone what, what's so good about iPhone why do you love iPhone so much they will say it's just iPhone what's why is iPhone the best phone it's just an iPhone if you can't give me a proper reason then don't tell me it's just iPhone come on man how are you gonna charge me 500 pounds for a phone that does tiles screen and screen of tiles I have to download all the apps to get it to do anything this phone does amazing things like a lot of the things are gimmicks obviously if I'm gonna do stuff like this like this with the ripples that's a gimmick I can do this and go straight into an app it's convenient but it's not great it's just what it is one of the conv very convenient things is that if I'm in the messaging if I'm in my texts and my text is there from my mother got them on the screen take the phone put it to my face it's making the call I hang up when you hang up you've got the option of texting calling back or viewing contact so you can do whatever you need to do, really. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, everything's just beautiful in this phone. You've got chat on, which is basically iMessage slash... Um, what's it called? WhatsApp. But it's actually better than both, in my experience. I mean, the user interface is just amazing and... The little icons, the um, emojis that you can put on there are really nice. There's a lot more than they have on WhatsApp and on um, iPhone. The gallery works really nice. The gallery, I can tag people's faces or it tags them automatically because it recognizes people. So I can have a folder just full of one person. So if I want to find a specific photo of someone, I just have to go to person. And then I find their name. And it will show me all the pictures of that person because it recognizes the faces once I put once I put them in my phone. There's little co very convenient things like being able to to um, swipe to call 
or just um, so you can swipe to the other side to text everything like that it's just really nice it just everything about the phone just makes things really easy I don't find that with an iPhone I find that iPhone is very basic it's very 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 basic and it bores me have I Everyone that's gassed over an iPhone, it never works. It never lasts for more than a couple of weeks. I mean, a month at most. I've got... I've had this phone since May, and I'm still gassed. I'm still finding out things about it that I didn't know I could do. Like, for instance, I can take a screenshot just by doing this. That's my screenshot. Like, just little things like that. I don't know. If you like iPhone, you like iPhone. But if you're trying to decide between a Galaxy S3 and an iPhone 5, don't bother to wait for the iPhone 5 because it's just going to be another iPhone 3G. Or another iPhone 3GS that looks like an iPhone 4 and has better battery life. It's a, it's, it's, a iPhone, it's an iPod that makes calls, basically. It's an iPod, iPod that makes calls. Um, this is the one red earth I'm signing out. Cool.